everyone and welcome back. This is part two of Making Silhouettes. I am Faye Leaf and we're going to be talking about in this video you know, should you develop or include a story beforehand um, before you make a silhouette for the characters in the story and to be honest I find that when you make a, make a when you make a story before you make the character silhouettes it kind of makes it a little bit more difficult because you have an idea of what the character should look like and you're a little bit more bound to that because then it's you have a set idea and you're gonna have to force yourself to really get out of that and explore more which is okay I mean some people are good with that and some people aren't so it's really you know your preference me personally um, I don't mind either way but I found that when I focused more on just letting my imagination run and creating characters and then building a story from these characters I pretty much allowed the designs of these silhouettes to speak to me rather than trying to fit them into a pre-designed mold and you know that allows you to really create a unique story that is that these characters it's like instead of having the characters fit your story you are basically discovering for what these the story of these characters are instead of you know the opposite way and I think that to me is a lot better than trying to force yourself to create a character that you already had before and try to make a silhouette to match them and the second thing I wanted to talk about was you know developing character um, silhouettes after you have made them and you know there's there's I've seen different techniques online about how you know how to go about this to be honest um just one way where you actually keep the silhouette and you start to paint over it and put the details over it I've never personally tried that before maybe I will one day and maybe I record it and post it online to see how it, how it works but um, the other way is basically to make line art and this is the method that I chose to do um, well really because because it was for my class that's what I had to do but um, I basically took the line arts and I made them I'm sorry, I took the silhouettes and I made them into a line art by, you know, it allowed me to be more detailed. And I was, you know, using the silhouettes as more like a base. And to be honest, it turned out okay. I, I actually, not better than okay, I loved them. They turned out really, really well. But, um, like I said, there's, you know, various methods that you can employ. So, I'll probably do a video of that and post that one online as well because that's a different process altogether. I just wanted to make mention of it. So that's going to be it for this video. Um, thank you very much for watching. I look forward to part three. Like and subscribe.